Ooh, yes, lots to go through today in this uh, sketchbook tour. Okay, so hello artists and welcome to my Renaissance or Old Masters sketchbook tour. Now, the aim of this sketchbook for the past, I think I've been doing this for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks, um, was to kind of look at the flow, composition, study a bit of kind of folds and clothing and the general essence of a lot of kind of Renaissance pieces, mostly Renaissance pieces. Um, although when I was looking at references, I used to click on like, you know, on Google when you have like similar items um, and I would go through just different kind of old masters works, but a lot were from the Renaissance period. Uh, so, so my aim was kind of to capture the shapes and the movement of the pieces and study maybe a little bit of anatomy because you tend to have very kind of muscular figures or kind of um, quite clearer figurative pieces in, in some sense. In some cases, I guess. Um, I actually like, I really like this one. This is quite, uh, I feel like this is very elegant. And as you can see, I, I didn't kind of study whole compositions. I used to take kind of elements out that I was interested in, including kind of landscape elements as well, um, that I found interesting that I thought would help my drawing or just help me improve my observational skills. Because when you're looking at a complex composition, such as the stuff from the Renaissance pieces with all of the folds and um, usually a lot of figures, background detail, foreground detail, midground detail, it's like so much to look at. So if you're trying to take a kind of a single element out, such as look, you can see I'm not looking at the uh, so much the human elements, but rather looking at the figure represented by the clothing alone, because um, I'm interested in these shapes that I can even use in like abstract pieces. It's again, little hint of the figure, but mostly just clothing study. Now, I started off the, um, I actually started off the the book was obviously a kind of like a fine, fine kind of, what is this, a gel pen. Um, and then I got myself a different pen, which was this, I think this is like a, supposed to be like a calligraphy kind of pen, but I really didn't like this one. This felt like just like some nasty kind of felt tip. So these two here are my least favorite drawings in the entire book. Um, <laughs> This one I thought, okay, uh, this is kind of thick and ugly, so I wanted to maybe do a piece which had a bit more shadow in it, but these, actually make that, these three, I could tear these pages out, but I wanna show you guys the good and the bad. You can see I'm doing some hand studies here. I went back to the gel pen and I was continuing to look at kind of ink slash brush pens online because I really like a kind of loose gesture and I want it to feel more like a paintbrush than a pen. Um, because this gel pen, even though it was getting some good results, um, I felt like uh, it was a bit it was a bit stiff to be kind of looking at the kind of things I wanted to be capturing from the Renaissance pieces. This is I feel like this is like <laughs> I don't know if anyone here watches Attack on Titan, but I feel like this is almost like a an evil kind of Attack on Titan kind of image. You can see here just more figurative studies. As I said, it's more about clothing, light, shadow, not so much looking at detail in a sense. Headless guy. Um, we're almost getting towards my brush pen now. Um, once again, partial study of a composition, interested in this kind of flow of composition. Some, I feel like this is, this was, uh, this was actually, I was studying from a drawing study so this this dude was like i don't know he looks like something from like destiny or out of a game or um once again clothing study we can get the head in now because of the head covering i feel like hands are a really interesting way of portraying emotion as well this is something this i really like this one this is i feel like this one's very elegant but it reminded me the posture and the kind of ghostiness of it reminded me from no face from uh, Spirited Away. Once again, more kind of clothing study. I feel like this clothing here almost looked like the kind of the wing of a bird, like with the uh, some of the angels that are portrayed in the. Don't like this one that much. 
this was kind of, I wanted to study hair and a beard, but I didn't come up very well, I think, with the, the pen I was using, or I just didn't do it very well. Another clothing study. This, the head looks tiny in this, but if you actually look at the study I was looking from, which I've probably lost now, I don't know where the reference is, but he's a very big guy. <laughs> I think I probably did the head a little bit small, but he was a big guy. Another hand study. I, qu I quite like these hand studies. I'm surprised I didn't mess up on more hands. Similar to the previous one, looking at the beard and the hair. This one's a bit better. Soldier. Ooh, got some nice wings here. Can you see like, sometimes I'm not interested in the full figure, but rather just elements such as the direction of the wings of these angels that are portrayed or kind of an arm and a leg here. Um, more hand studies. I said, oh no, for this one, because this one looks a little bit strange. So I do mess up here and there. Another arm study. Um, this was kind of that iconic, I think it was a Michelangelo piece. Now, hoo, 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 now it starts to get bold. Now we have, um, this is my brush pen. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of uh, Kim Jung Ji, Korean guy. He uses a pen like this. Um, this is actually a pen for, I think it was supposed to be, I think it's a Japanese pen for calligraphy. Penton is the brand. But I saw that he was using this pen to kind of create the lights and darks. So I started using this to then draw. And I really like the kind of the quality of line and what I can do when it's a bit where I can still smudge it to get kind of start building up some values. Once again, the, uh, this is the guy I drew before. Um, same guy, same guy as this guy, but full figure this time. So this guy to this guy. Can you see like, I don't know, I prefer the finish of this brush pen. Another hand. Once again, I did this hand before. I was just repeating some things in the brush pen. Some nice movement here. She's just chillaxing. Clothing study can build up some nicer shadows behind figures. This one's a little bit on the rough side. I like the movement, but I don't really like the mark so much. I don't think there's enough kind of shapes, form and detail in this one to really make sense of it. Another, so these two, I feel like whenever I do bad drawings, the pages are always together. These two, I don't like. I don't like this either. I just, it's a messy drawing. Whereas this one, ooh, very elegant. I feel like this is very kind of manga-like here, this kind of texture. Um, but really like this figure. Another figurative. Can you see, Mike, a lot of my marks are kind of quite abstract almost. But overall, it captures the kind of essence of maybe what I'm studying. Another kind of clothing, once again, not interested in the human feature so much rather than capturing just the, as you can see, quite abstract shapes, but as you build everything up, it comes together. Don't like this one. Proportions were bad. Tome was bad. I like these trees. That's about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to point out all my mistakes. Have a look at this hand. This hand is non-existent. It, looked like it, it looks like his arm has been severed. Um, but generally speaking, quite decent uh, figure drawing. This one's not bad either. Um, you can see me getting used to the pen a bit more, being able to control it a bit better. Lights and darks. Very iconic um, statue with no head. Um, oh. This is, this is one of my favorite in the, whole, in the whole sketch. I just feel like I perfectly positioned this one. The proportions are good. The light and the dark really works well. It's good when you do a good drawing. Really like the wings of this one. Although if you have a look at the forearm, it's very long. This one, I put a little X next to it because the proportion of the arms and everything was a bit skew if so. I drew it again, but then my pen started running out of ink, so it got a bit rough and messy. Um, put some new ink in my pen, and da-da-da. We have 
another I was, I was doing some studies from statues so um, one thing I feel like is quite interesting and difficult is when you're looking at figurative or whatever you're studying from different angles of perspective so some of these statues were obviously taken from the picture was taken from below so you can see kind of looking up at this this dude and this lion um, and then I put some marks kind of representing birds in the background now that angel study um, I love the movement of the wings so elegant this one I think the uh, the toning of this one is really really nice I like this one uh, I have to say I do like some of my drawings in this in this sketchbook um, but it's, I think it's important to show you the the good and the bad because I do <laughs> I do flop <laughs> such as this one where <laughs> I just got angry with the head the proportions were messed up so I, I did some dark tone and then it looked like a flipping Sith from Lord of the Rings with like small arms so I said come to the dark side but then whenever I seem to do something quite bad, I follow it up with something pretty elegant, pretty good. Um, really like this one. Kind of look at this. This is the kind of flow I'm looking at. I hope that makes sense, flow. Um, but yeah, another kind of wing study. Uh, he's looking a bit annoyed about something now. Why you do this? mostly kind of clothing I quite I, this one's nice because I I, I I did a little bit of the background you can see I'm starting to once again it's kind of controlling the pen understanding the pen controlling what medium you're using um, leaving some of the mid-tones so I've got like obviously light mid-tone dark so I think it really works well um, another kind of strange angle, leaning back, looking at these kind of figures from different perspectives and then suggesting some of the background is quite nice too. This one's a bit messy, but I do like the, do like the toning and once again, have a look at the flow, the flow of the composition. I feel like I could have positioned this one a bit better. Flying dude, <laughs> his knees are kind of coming up a bit so he looks a bit squished but um, I hope that perspective makes sense a little bit oh oh I like this one once again look at that light medium dark very well positioned good proportions and I think this is the final one which is another statue study so uh, I guess what did I learn from doing this sketchbook that I love this brush pen and I feel like it's been a really nice way of me to quickly like these drawings they probably didn't take that long per drawing especially once I started getting that brush pen because the amazing thing about the brush pen is I can literally just press it and go Ch -ch -ch, and then you know, I get like a big darker area like this um, and it's great because when I use it lightly, you can see I get thin lines, but then when you press, you get the thicker lines. So you've got this kind of control of the, the size of the marks you make. It looks like kind of loose and natural. Then I would get my finger and then smudge um, to get these mid-tones. And you can also smudge to also, uh, I guess, expand the dark tones, if that makes sense. But um, I think this one, this one is definitely my favorite. I hope that uh, I hope that this has made sense. Um, my somewhat brief commentary on top, but um, but yeah, uh, check out Pentel Pentel P E N T E L their brush pen. I know it, they do it on Amazon. I got it in China here, but um, not expensive. Very very nice pen for drawing. What I found anyways is someone who likes kind of loose painterly marks almost. Um, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment if you would like more kind of sketchbook tour videos. This is actually, to be honest, I've never been a sketchbook guy, but recently I've been like, yo, I need to improve my drawing. Let me study the old masters because that's the kind of imagery I've been working with for my digital pieces. Follow me, in, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already to check out those kind of digital pieces I do, which sometimes I translate into paintings. But um, 
I say that this has been a, a success and it's helped me kind of with my observation, thinking about proportion, thinking about the flow, looking at kind of different marks to create folds. So uh, I hope this has been beneficial to all those watching, interesting to all those watching. And um, yeah, as I said, follow me on Instagram, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe and comment if you would like some more, I guess, sketchbook tours like this. Um, I don't know what my next sketchbook will be, but I like to, I like this idea of theming a sketchbook, although I probably will have one, which is just kind of anything. But uh, please comment any criticism, positive, negative that you have. And I just elbowed my fan. And here is my awkward goodbye. <laughs>